Justin Robert Young program brought to you, as always, by the folks that support the show by paying us. You can find them at payjurydaily.com. Oh, hello there, friends. It's your old pal, Justin Robert Young, joining you as always for an episode of Jury Daily. I'm not going to lie to you, friends, family, Romans, countrymen, I'm sick. Don't know exactly how much energy I'm going to be able to bring to the show. Don't know if this is going to be the longest show, but it will be a show. And we're going to rely on some... uh, we're going to rely on some some visual and audio aids here. Uh, I asked you guys to send in last week examples of we fucked up ads. These are ads. This is a, a big new trend that is happening. As a company goes through a big corporate scandal, the new way of uh, 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 handling it is to make their new brand we fucked up. Now, you might have seen this uh, most recently with the... Uh, Wells Fargo, Facebook, both of their current ad campaigns are, we were bad, you weren't crazy, we were bad, but now we're good. So we're going to take a look at one of these right now here. Uh, uh, This is one, a new ad from another uh, brand that has gone through quite a bit of Sturm and Drong lately. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a we fucked up ad from Papa John's. Come on in. Little smile. This is my first commercial. <laughs> You've heard one voice of Papa John's for a long time. If you are only listening via audio, the uh, images we are seeing is a rotating cast of regular looking people with uh, uh, the titles down below of their names and their jobs. Most of them are either, either franchise owners or uh, we're right now looking at Zafira, a local store marketing manager. People like that. Regular old folks who either own a franchise or manage a Papa John's. It's time you heard from all of us. My name is Samir Merchant, and I'm a franchise owner since 2005. My name is Brant Barnes, and I've been a franchisee for 13 years. I'm Kirsten Bates, the general manager of Papa John's in Southfield, Michigan. When I'm out in the community, I engage people, and they know me as a uh, Papa John's guy. It is also no coincidence that I would say overrepresentative, as I would guess, comparably to the amount of franchisee, uh, franchisees, franchisee owners and employees of Papa John's, there is diversity on display. Considering part of what Papa John himself, John Schnatner, uh, said was uh, at times looked at to be hardcore uh, 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 non-diversity. Well, I don't know how well, uh, anything he said was necessarily that, but that's certainly part of what he was uh, read as. We take pride in getting to celebrate special occasions, you know, whether it's birthday parties or retirement parties or anniversaries. Pizza usually gets invited to the party. Pizza's delicious, especially when you got the better ingredients. I tell my team to to make every pizza as if they're making... Oh, wait, people are also reminding me that he did drop a hard R on a marketing call wherein he said that Colonel Sanders called black people the N-word. In it for the favorite person in their life. We want to personally invite you to our Papa John's. Every single one of you. Everyone. Everyone. From now on, you'll hear more of our voices. Our voices. Because we believe we are better together. All of us. And all of you. What is it about we fucked up that d- demands a strumming guitar? There's something about we fucked up that really demands like we fucked up. I, is that it? Is, is that you just need to like this is now the calm. 
This is now the aftermath. This is after the bombs. This is when we are all re-coming together. We are reforming. It is a soothing. It is a healing kind of moment. While I was researching this, I came across this ad as well. This is not a we fucked up ad. This is a pre we fucked up ad. I'm just going to play it with no context so you guys can understand it. Here is Jared Fogel. You may have seen him on the news or a talk show. <laughs> this is the first Jared uh, from Subway ad. That aired uh, uh, oh so long ago, but I just love that the first words in the first Jared ad is. Here is Jared Fogel. You may have seen him on the news or a talk show. This is Jared Fogel. You might have seen him on the news or in a talk show. I'll tell you what, man. That man lived by the sword and died by the sword. He came in uh, uh, on the news or on a talk show and he went out on the news or on a talk show. Here is Jared Fogel. You may have seen him on the news or a talk show. He <laughs> oh, he's a horrifying person. All right, so keep sending me your We Fucked Up ads. Uh, uh, it is always a delight. Always a delight. But there is something. That we uh, did not do last week that we do have to get into this week. Uh, I know that there was a point in which I doubted whether or not this segment would be able to continue if people were still interested in sending along their uh, uh, ideas for it. But man, was I wrong. These are your thoughts as sent in throughout the two weeks we will normally do this on thursday but i think we're going to do a recorded episode tomorrow so please ladies and gentlemen before or sorry without any further introductions allow me to welcome you to I thoughts. Is my real job shuttling mosquitoes around? If so, it really sucks. It's Shakedown Street. If I send this at 420, does it make the high thought even more special? A dictionary is just a bunch of words trying to explain other words. Was the word infinitesimal invented when somebody slurred the words infinitely small together and acted like they did it on purpose? Who are Princess Peach's parents anyway? Like, aren't they the king and queen of something? You'd think we'd have heard from them by now what 
walking is a trust fall between you and your feet. Saurian means lizardy, but also sounds like slang for apologizing. Those are high five. Folks, if you're going to send in your high thoughts, then please go ahead and do it to jurydaily at gmail.com. Put high thoughts, that is H-I comma thoughts, in the subject line so I know which ones are which. I'd like to thank our producers, the Gen, PD Rave, Nonspecific, Rock and Roll, Marsh, and Joe Acosta, Will, John H. Meyer, James, Bill, and Dustin. You can email me, jurydaily at gmail.com. Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, at Justin R. Young. Hashtag join the conversation at diamondclub.reddit.com. If you want to come see me review the midterms as the results come in on election night, as well as some of the best midterm ads that we saw, well, you can do so. The Piano Fight Theater, that is November 6th at 7 p.m. Get your tickets at bit.ly slash wavewatch. Folks, that about wraps it up. For us and for the live shows this week, please give a round of applause to Mr. Wacky and until tomorrow, please don't die! Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>